All right, let's go ahead and take a few minutes here to look at some of the cool math features that have been available in the Windows 10 app version of OneNote and also some things that just came out here recently. So the first thing I got to do is open up the correct version. So I'm going to go to the start menu in the bottom left hand corner, I'll then scroll down to the O's and instead of clicking on the OneNote 2016 version to get to the desktop one, I'm going to go to the Windows 10 app by clicking on the one that just says OneNote. Once that opens up, you may have to sign in. There will be other videos that you can find that will show you how to get properly signed in if you've got questions on that or else just ask us. But I'm now in a tab here that I've called Math Stuff and so this is going to be my video sample. Now the first thing I have to do is click on the Draw tab. And then once on the Draw tab, you'll see there's this Math option here. And if I click on that, it pops up this little menu that tells me what I need to do. So it says write or type your equation. I've had no success with typing it and then being able to get it in there. I'd be interested in seeing what I'm doing wrong on that. But every time I write with it, it seems to work just fine. So I'll do more testing on the typed version of it and see what we can come up with for you. But what I do now at this point is I have to type the equation. And now I'm not on a touchscreen device, so this gets a little bit tricky. And I'm going to try using the trackpad to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick the draw uh, icon up here for the pencil and then I'm going to hold down the left button on my mouse or on my trackpad and I'm going to start trying to draw a Y so after I'm done writing my equation the next option says select your equation so I'm going to come up here to the lasso select tool I'm going to click in one corner and drag around here and once that's selected the way it is, I'm going to click this math button. And you'll see here that this is giving me the correct equation this time, so that's good. The beauty of video editing is I've tried this about four times and finally now I have it correct. So right here I have some options. I can solve for X if I wanted to, I can solve for Y, or I can graph this in 2D. There will be other options depending on what that equation is. For this one I'm going to go ahead and say graph in 2D. Here I get a graph. Now if I wanted to insert this on the page or expand it, I could. So I could zoom in a little bit here. Or I could go ahead and zoom out. And I'm going to say insert on page. And you see here I get a nice graph. Whoops. I want to move this around so I'm going to select my selection tool, my cursor. And then I can slide this to where I want it. If I wanted to resize this, I could grab one corner, hold down the shift button and drag that out to get a little bit bigger image. Okay, and then let's say that I wanted to go over here and solve this for X as well. I can just come back here to the drop down menu. I can say solve for X and this is going to give me the actual solve. But right here I can say show steps and the steps for solving the linear equation are all shown for me right there. So now I've got all that work. So a couple things come to mind here. Obviously from a teacher standpoint you guys have uh, laptops just like the one I'm working with right now and trying to draw this out with uh, your with your mouse uh, or on your trackpad is pretty tedious but you have a Promethean board as well so if you're trying to make a video and you want to get some graphs done you can easily write that if your writing is pretty legible this would be something that could be done kind of on the fly it gives you this whiteboard space and if you click on this full screen drawing option right up here you see you get a little bit more space there and I think this could be a good teaching tool just from a presentation standpoint for teachers you want to go ahead and get that stuff graphed and shown and get all the steps written out right away you could do those things students could take pictures of those things from the whiteboard uh, or from your Promethean board uh, lots of different ways that this could be interacted with then and I hope this video helps you that should be all you really need at this point thanks a lot